and I'm live. Hi guys. I am back in Austin and I'm taking a little walk. Uh, this is a little, a little muggy out here, but i um, taking, oh, I, you guys, I wrote all these no, <laughs> notes about things that I wanted to talk about. I didn't bring, I didn't bring them. I wrote them down, but I didn't bring them. So we're just going to have to wing it. But yeah, I'm in a, uh, a little park here in South Austin. Scratch my leg. And um, yeah, it's really, it's really beautiful. Let me show you. I, um, I wanted to go to like a town lake or Congress or something like that. But I just got back from a little mission trip. Uh, another another one yesterday and uh, anyway I don't know I didn't really have time to pull it all together but um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you uh, about today so um, if you're just joining hello I'm walking around Austin and um, I'd love to know what you guys are doing hey Chris how's it going what are you having for lunch today <laughs> hey Santos Oh, that's really nice. I appreciate it. You're always so supportive. Uh, but yeah, so y'all let me know what you're having for lunch for today or, or what's going on with you. But um, I was just saying that I just uh, returned from Mexico yesterday. I went, hey Angie, I went to um, help out another Chris, help out with um, Big Heart Orphanage. Um, I did some video production out there. And part of that video production um, included, oh, you guys, that was a lizard. You just have to take my word for it. I saw a deer earlier, too. Yeah, we're kind of, it's much prettier than it, than it looks on camera. But anyway, um, hey, Angie, what are you having for lunch today? Is it lunchtime yet? Anyway, uh, you know, so, so uh, being out there um, and doing those interviews with people and just having them, uh, talk about why they're out there and how they've been doing it and um, just one of the most um, hey Bakshi <laughs> thanks why they decide to uh, stay and help oh man it was just amazing and then also at my church we're doing this 60-60 um, thing where for 60 days we are supposed to use you can use an app or you can use um, like a timer on your phone <laughs> and um, every hour it reminds you to like check in with God so uh, yeah it's it's what is the app called I think the app's called soul revolution if you want to check it out um, but it's really interesting if you actually do try it because I don't know it's kind of <laughs> hey Chris it's kind of hard to talk to y'all about um, sandwiches and uh, Jesus all at the same time I, I don't know if I'm doing a good job of uh, of straddling it. Hola Chris. That ham sandwich sounds good though, uh, Angie. So yeah, I don't know. We'll just we'll just kind of uh, we'll just kind of figure it out. I, I, I am trying to figure out like the whole Facebook Live thing. I I heard another heard another animal. Um because I think like you know we're we're just moving to that in general. Like people wanna, you know, be in the moment. Um anybody got time for yesterday's news so um, so yeah so so we're checking it out and I uh, feel like one of the things that is true whether in video or I guess really anything right it's just like consistency to um, oh you're have you done the 6060 Chris I'll tell you what it's like um, oh that feels good maybe I'll just wait here for a second <laughs> It's kind of hot out here, but I'll tell you what, it's not as hot as it is in Mexico. Um, but yeah, the nature walk, I know. Do y'all do you hear the birds chirping? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Um, yeah, but the 60-60, because it's like, it'll go off every hour, and you think, like, you know, you want to check in with God, and just kind of some of the, just to notice some of the thoughts that you have, which is like, you know, I don't have time for this, and it's like, what? I mean, you don't even have time, really, right? Because we're not promised tomorrow, so... It's, it's, it's really pretty wild and kind of makes you, um, you know, check yourself, uh, a little bit. And anyway, I am, I am definitely starting to feel like called to missions. I mean, when, you know, I've, I've been to, um, Mexico twice now and I got back from Nicaragua and I don't know, like it is just, 
stirring something in me that I'm like, this is what I need to do right now. I don't, you know, I, 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 I think that's how people say that they, they feel God. Um, you know, because it's like, how do you know? I keep asking people, like, how do you know what God wants you to do? Um, the guy that started the orphanage, his name's Gator. He was like, God told me Mexico so loud I thought other people heard it. I mean, um, these interviews were just really, what? No one's following me. <laughs> oh, it said due to poor broadcast. So come on, Verizon. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Um, anyway, so, so that was really cool. I'm really looking forward to editing that video. Hopefully it'll be up at the beginning. Um, but yeah, it's like, I'm starting to do these videos about my faith and I'm just like, I want to make God famous. Like, that's what I want to work on. You know, like that's what I was born to do. So it's, uh, it's just, I, I've just been having some really awesome and interesting conversations and just meeting some really cool people and um, but also like trying to figure out where that balance is. I've noticed that sometimes when I'm talking to people about, um, you know, how much we have as Americans and, or how maybe sometimes we miss the big picture because we're so bogged down with everything that we have, understandably so, like, you know, sometimes I think people get a little defensive. Um, but it's not like that, you know, it's not like, um, it's not like, it's not guilt. It's so funny because I felt like a long time ago, I used to wonder like, what do Christians do for fun? Like, you know, like you can't do all the fun stuff. So what do y'all do? And I, I, I remember someone said like, um, well, we find, we do other fun things and I'm like, boo, but I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I don't know. And I don't know if that's just like, I think it must be that God changes your heart because it was not intentional. I mean, I think kids are so cool now and that is, that has not been my history. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I'm fascinated by them. They get me. No, um, they laugh at my jokes. Um, no, it's just been, it, it, and so it's just been really wild and it does. It's, it's, um, helping other people. It's, uh, it's a deeper, you know, it like goes deeper. Oh, there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I wanted to tell y'all a few things and I wrote down my notes and then I forgot to bring my notes. Um, I should ask y'all a question. What question should I ask you guys? What are y'all thinking about this week? What are you working on? What are you working on like personally or like, you know, spiritually? Is that too deep of a question? I'm kind of a deep, a deep person. Sorry about the, the shade. Maybe I don't have to walk so fast, right? Oh, there's a little rest area over here. Um, no? No one's working on anything? Kevin, what are you working on this week? What are you guys working on? Working on, uh, yeah, that's what's so crazy, you know, when you realize, like, that just, just how short life is, and just, gosh, you hear so many stories, and we really do act like we're gonna live forever, and it's kind of, it's just kind of crazy, you know, because it's like, it's really just like this little blip in time. Should I do some, should I, should I climb the, <laughs> you're living, living, making it do what it do? Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's like, uh, I mean, I guess that's just it for me. Like I need purpose. You know, they, you can take those little personality tests. I don't know if you've taken them. This isn't the Myers-Briggs. Ooh, do you know your Myers-Briggs? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to know that. Uh, mine's um, ENFP, but surprisingly, also kind of close on the introvert. I, I like my alone time too. Um, but yeah, oh, so I think it was a spiritual gifts one that we took and um, like this, uh, one of them is belief and that's really high for me. Like I need to, I need to, what I'm doing, I have to, you know, but, but like everyone's obviously not, not made the same way, right? Like n not everyone's made for I don't think everyone, you know, not, not everyone's the goer, like, on a mission, or not everyone's the sender. And, and some people, like, obviously their mission is right where they are. It's just like, I am just constantly plagued by what is our purpose in life? What are you doing? You're building a virtual reality business. You played with Cedric Benson? Yeah, I actually, uh, probably before I left to Mexico, I had a little chat with him. Good guy. Nice, nice teeth. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was pretty funny, Chris. I I, um, I met him at a, um, an event, and he told me his name, and I was like, I feel like I should know you. So, um, yeah. When everyone else is um, watching football games, I 
um, usually work because then I feel like I get, you know, you know how you always wish you had like a few extra hours than everyone else? Um, I feel like I get those extra hours when there's a big game on television, you know, like everyone's like, oh, the game was awesome. I'm all, I know y'all always say that. And I got a lot of things done in the past three hours. So, uh, anyway, good. It works out, right? Because God made us all different. Very, very different. So, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all, um, checking in and, uh, joining me. I, I think, um, I think next week I'd really, I, I'd like to like walk around and maybe talk with some people, do some street interviews, some man on the street, seeing what, it's getting a little rocky over here. It's, I'm not, I'm not drunk. Let's see. Rocky, rocky. Cute little trail though, right? Got some, uh, they got some monkey bars up here further, further. Monkey bars are hard. I don't feel like I remember them being that hard, but they are hard. Anywho, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you checking in and, you know, uh, participating. I'm, I, I really want to, um, continue doing this. I really want to get a conversation going. I think there's, um, something really cool happening with, um, live streaming video. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff happening with video, but, um, Hey, Aunt Carol. <laughs> um, but yeah, so check in with me next Friday. So, you know, I mean, and I know we're kind of, uh, I'm, I'm a little all over the board, but really the, uh, the idea is just to kind of get, get a conversation going about something, something real, something positive, something that, uh, is good going on in your life. Um, that is something that I've definitely seen in both Nicaragua and Mexico is they do, um, they do a really good job at community because they have to, but I'm not, I'm not so sure, you know, that we're 100% blessed that we don't have to. I mean, there's something, there's something really beautiful about not thinking that you have to do things alone. So deep thoughts around lunchtime. Um, I love you guys. You can uh, ask me any questions. I'm around in Austin this week and hey Susan, thanks. That's right. Um, so you guys have a great week and I will see you next Friday at noon and maybe on downtown Austin. All right, bye.